I didn't really know how I was going to feel about this speaker. I was interested in it because it is so unique. However, I don't know if I wasn't optimistic, but I was, I guess you could say, skeptical. This is a speaker that does things, or I'm using it in a way that it wasn't really designed to be used in the first place. Does that make sense? So sit down. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little sick. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's talk about this new unorthodox speaker right here. I know sponsored spots, ad reads, sometimes bother people, but this one's funny. So if you want to, give it a listen. If not, you can skip right through it. Big thank you to today's sponsor, Prepare Yourselves. Listen, the holiday season is upon us, and while you're busy giving gifts to everybody else, don't forget the most important person, yourself. This year, treat yourself to the ultimate self-care experience with the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra from Manscaped. Trust me, your grooming game is about to hit the nice list. Welcome to the party. Bam! Manscaped. You just got Manscaped. I'm about to get Manscaped, maybe. Look at this. You can tell he used Manscaped. Leather jacket on, looks like um, glamour shots. Remember, in the mall, when you go and Pop up the collar, Manscaped. This isn't just any old package, it's like Santa's workshop for your downstairs grooming. Let me show you why this is the perfect holiday gift to unwrap. Star of the show, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. This grooming powerhouse features two interchangeable skin safe blade heads. You get the trimmer blade for your precision and the skin safe foil blade for that close clean cut. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is also waterproof, which means you can go in the shower, take care of all your grooming needs, for, and it's easy to clean up. And charging your trimmer is effortless because it's got a USB-C charger down there. It's got a 700 milliamp hour battery, which provides up to 60 minutes of use, which that seems like a lot of grooming. 60 minutes? It tickles so much. Also included, the Weed Whacker 2.0. It's like your own personal elf for tackling all those pesky nose hairs. Woo! It's got the same skin safe technology so you can trim worry free without the risk of nicks and cuts. All right, wait for it. It's getting even better. Keep your holiday grooming merry and bright with Crop Soother Ball Aftershave. It's dermatologist tested and gentle on sensitive skin. It's like a holiday miracle for your nether region. And say goodbye to razor burn and itching because nobody wants to be scratching like a reindeer at a party. Mm -hmm. And don't forget the crop preserver. It's for that festive finishing touch. This quick absorbing lotion with soothing aloe vera is like Santa's magic for your undercarriage. It's just pure holiday cheer below the belt. This is really funny. But wait, there's more. This kit also comes with two free gifts, the Boxers 2.0 and the Shed 2.0 travel bag. A whole bunch of stuff in this box. This holiday season, treat yourself or someone special to the ultimate grooming experience. The Performance Package 5.0 Ultra from Manscaped covers all of your shaving, trimming, and post-grooming needs, ensuring you ramp up the year looking and feeling amazing. So use my code cheap audio to get 20% off plus free international shipping or just use the QR code that's been here forever. That's 20% off plus free shipping when you use the code cheap audio at checkout. Your jingle bells are gonna thank you. If you're new here, and I know 60% of you watching right now aren't subscribed, listen, I'm really insecure. And so when people subscribe to my channel, it makes me feel better about myself. It validates me externally, not internally, but externally. I could use the validation. So please subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later. This, my friends, is the Emotiva XC1. The C stands for center speaker. However, this speaker has a bit of a secret. It can be, it can be changed right here. 
This is a tweeter. However, this tweeter can be rotated. So you can run it as a center channel with the tweeter horizontal, or you can run it as a standalone speaker with the tweeter verted, with the tweeter, come on Randy, with the tweeter mounted vertically. Take a little tape and you pull this off. This is magnetic. So it goes right back on like this or comes right off like that. Now, there's a tweeter in here affixed with four different screws. So you go, zzz, you unscrew it four times and then you rotate it whichever direction you want it to, whether you want it to be horizontal or vertical. These are rotated and they're playing vertical. There are actually eight screw holes in here because this is not an exact square. I was freaking out. I'm like, do I have to drill into the enclosure with this when I rotate it? And they're like, no, there's a hole in there. You just got to find it. Emotiva first sent me one of these as a center speaker and I had it upstairs. It's fairly big. It's their smallest center speaker, but it's still fairly big. It is about 26, is 26 inches long, seven and a half inches wide or high, depending upon how you mount this or use it, and nine and a half inches deep. So if you're using it like I use it, you're gonna have to get a stand that is a little bit unorthodox. I'm actually using it right now on the Wharfdale Super Lit stands, and it puts it at a really good height. One of my patrons, Mark, or he, he goes by Rat Boy in the community, he has used a center speaker for left and right speakers for years. I think he has the ELAC Unify, the center channel. But what he did is he just um, turned them sideways and runs them vertical. And he used to talk about just how awesome it is to use a center speaker if it's designed properly as a regular speaker. When I first got it, you know, I used it as a center speaker, sounded great, sounded very full, very powerful in the bass. But I knew most people that watch my channel don't really care about center channel speakers. That's just the way it is. However, they would care about this speaker being used as a left and a right speaker because for the size and the price, it's one of the best speakers I've ever heard. Obviously, it comes with a 25 millimeter by 32 millimeter folded ribbon tweeter, a four and a half inch woven fiber mid range right here with a real phase plug and two five and a quarter inch woofers, one up here, one down here. Efficiency. Now, since you have two woofers, it gets a little bit more efficient than if you just have one woofer. So these are actually easier to drive than a lot of their bookshelf speakers, 88 dB. Nominal impedance is four ohms and frequency response. And this is where they really underrate this thing, 50 Hertz up to 27,000 Hertz. But we'll get into the sound later, but if these things were rated at 35 Hertz, I would have believed it. This is truly a three-way speaker. <laughs> Right now, these are coming in at $3.99 a piece, but there's a 20% off sale going on at Emotiva. So we're talking $800 a pair minus $160, which equals $640 for a pair of these. And don't forget, if you are using this in a home theater application, well, guess what? You have three of the same speakers for your left, your middle, and your right. One of the coolest things about this speaker is when you run it vertically, it's fairly skinny. Basically, this is like a, a mini floor standing speaker that doesn't sit on the floor or a really tall and skinny bookshelf speaker. Because it's the size that it is and because it wasn't super deep, I could get it away from the wall. These through a sound stage did some forward to aft imaging that was really good. Even my wife sat down and listened. I made her listen to Chocolate Chip Trip 
by Tool. To hear all of the movement left to right and just the different placement of the bells and everything, and she was blown away. She goes, sounds really good. And then she got up and walked out, which when she says, sounds pretty good, that means it's a good speaker. Yay! Good. There's a track by Hans Zimmer from the Dark Knight soundtrack called Why So Serious? Why So Serious? Partway through that track, it just goes down to bass. In a, it's in the 40 hertz region, and I think even lower than that. Most bookshelf speakers, even on tower speakers, you're not even gonna hear that part. It just sounds like it, the song goes away for a while. That song, when I was listening to it at the levels I was listening to it, goes from literally 55 dB at the soft parts all the way into the 80s. And if you haven't listened to that song, please do yourself a favor and go listen to it front to back. It's like an eight or a nine minute track, but it's so fun because it is so dynamic. But this thing was handling that super low part perfectly. It sounded like there was a subwoofer hooked up. And I knew there was something special about this when I listened to it just as a center speaker, but when I listened to it vertically as a regular speaker, I was really blown away. The biggest surprise for me was how well it handled Why So Serious by Hans Zimmer. Just amazing how much bass these things can put out. Mid-range. There's a part in this that doesn't have the typical Emotiva mid-range clarity on the bottom end and that is because I feel like around a hundred to two hundred Hertz there's a bit of lift to it and that actually makes the speaker sound really engaging because you're getting so much punch but male vocals can sound a little bit I wouldn't call them chesty but they lean towards a little bit of chesty so like finite details in male vocals in the lower mid-range, I felt were kind of covered up by that rise at 100 hertz. But I just brought down 200 hertz, like a dB and a half, and it brought that clarity back in. Female vocals are spectacular, and you're still getting, well, I'll get into that in treble. Mid-range here is thick, but detailed. And that's the cool thing about this speaker is it is sounding like a very well-designed, interesting speaker, like something like the Q Acoustics 5040 series, the Wharfdale Linton 85th anniversary. But then you have a ribbon tweeter on top of that. So now you're getting all the air too. So it does have some personality in the mid-range and especially some personality on the bottom with how hard it hits. <laughs> Center man, Nina Simone. You wanna know how good a job a speaker does? Listen to Center Man by Nina Simone. So much hi-hat at the beginning and just layer upon layer. And that's another really long track, eight or nine minutes. This Emotiva speaker may be the perfect speaker because it's not all clarity in the mid-range. It's not as cool as some other Emotiva speakers have been. There is a little bit of caramel in the mids but you're still maintaining all of the air. I was listening to this through the Weem Ultra going digital out into the DeShelly Labs J2 with the AKM4499 chipset into the Advanced Paris A10 Classic. And then finally into here. TV and movies through these for almost two weeks and then a ton of music through these through the Weem. <laughs> ported on the back too and you can buy amp and buy wire it uh, the ports right here right there I love this speaker it's super interesting because I think a lot of people don't even know that it, it exists I don't think that they know that you can get I don't think they know that they can run a center channel as a regular vertical speaker and this is awesome because really what you have right here is a bookshelf speaker and then you have it right in between two woofers I think this is the best 
bookshelf speaker that Emotiva has ever made. I think there's a bump around 100 hertz, which I'm glad there is because it makes it more engaging. I think that bump can cover up a little bit of lower mid-range detail, but for my purposes, that doesn't bother me at all. You can adjust that a little bit in EQ, but you don't need to if you don't really want to. Top end is the usual wonderful Emotiva sound. And for the size, this thing punches like a suburbanite mother on a Black Friday sale at Walmart. Real hard. One of the coolest, best sounding speakers, most interesting speakers that I think you can get right now. And you get 20% off. $600 is a lot, but if you consider what you're getting here, you're basically getting a mini tower speaker. And one of which has the flexibility to be put in a lot of different situations. And if you want to run this as a center speaker, run it as a center speaker. But it's excellent. 9 out of 10. Would have been perfect 10 out of 10, but a little bit of that mid-range clarity is lacking. But it's still one of the best speakers I've heard all year.